Seven. All right, it's finally time to unbox the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate um, Special Edition or Steelbook Case Edition. And this was pretty hard to get your hands on. <laughs> the first time trying to buy it, um, they just sold out. Like, I couldn't even freaking refresh the page fast enough to get one of these. And uh, on GameStop, they were only online only, so um, you couldn't get uh, this in stores. And you couldn't get the Pro Controller either in stores. Um, only some stores had it, but the ones around um, where I lived they did not, so that pretty much sucked. Um, the main difference with this one is that you get a steelbook, and you get a Pro Controller, and you don't get the original case, it just... The game just comes in a steelbook. Okay, so let's open this. And I think the, the whole controller comes inside. Oh, let me try to open this without messing up the box. All right, got it opened. And yeah, so the, the controller just comes stuffed inside here. Somehow it already has a dink. Right there, little dents on the box. Um, here's a steel book and the controller, and that's about it. <laughs> you can see the the design of the front, and you can actually feel it popping out. And you can tell they just pushed it from right here. That's pretty cool. Leave that right there. Um, do I have to just? These are the boxes where they just flap out, right? I don't have to destroy these. Yeah. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at the game first. So yeah, you don't get the regular Nintendo Switch case. Um, wow. Okay. Well, mine's already came with a scratch right there, and a dent. I think from shipping too, because it was kind of hard to um, open it from right here. And I guess this is where this part of the Switch case was at, like that. And GameStop shipped it in a box where it like crushed it <laughs> like this and I guess from shipping it just hit itself a couple of times it's pretty bad um so that sucks um I already have some scratches and dents on the steelbook um I guess there's nothing I could do about that so whatever um the side of it is blank which is weird thought they would put something there so it's just a Smash logo from the, uh, what is this, the, what I first popped out in the, the Splatoon trailer when they announced the Splatoon, um, children to be in the game. Um, that's pretty cool. It has, um, Battlefield as a background. It's kind of holographic too. You guys could see that. Kind of shiny. And this is the Switch game, which is nice because I only had the download code, so I never really got to see this. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. So yeah, and then on the bottom it says Nintendo Steelbook. Steelbook steelbook.com so I guess they make the steelbook with other people so yeah that's the steelbook and the game now let's crack open the controller all right let it open let's take it out of the box whoa um, I haven't opened the Switch Pro Control in a long time since I got my first one. Um, was it last year? Um, oh, nice. Yeah, they come with the uh, charging cable. That is really nice. I wish all the controllers came with that. The Xbox and the PS4 ones, but I guess not. Um, not sure what the difference is. People said um, the Xenoblade controllers have like a a better D-pad 
for some odd reason. And then um, I'm guessing they did that to this controller too. But I don't know. That looks pretty cool. That's so... Dang. That's good. You can kind of tell they did a different um, kind of coating, I guess, to protect the grip. Because right here on the bottom, it still looks... It looks like it doesn't have any like protection on it. It looks more white than this. I guess to protect the some to make the grip last longer. Um yeah. So what I found weird is that <laughs> they did the GameCube controllers too. So I'm not sure why they made a pro control version if they know people play with the GameCube ones. But I guess this is for people who rather play with the pro control. I don't know. I guess the more, um, the more uh, Smash Brothers stuff, the better for everyone. So I just noticed another thing um, right here. Um, I thought there were smudges, but that's <laughs> that's on the that's on the uh, little thumb grip there. Dang! So I got a pretty. I had a pretty shitty box, <laughs> which I'm not really happy about, but, you know, they're hard to get, and I got one, but it's like, most of it's kind of damaged, um, but I guess I got one, so that's cool, <laughs> um, yeah, feels like a pro control, the only games I've ever used a pro control on was Mario Odyssey, and Breath Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So I haven't played much with them. Because I just beat those games pretty quickly. And then um, moved on to other games. Um, I don't use this for Smash. Obviously I use a GameCube control. Um, it's just way better for me. Um, so I'm not sure if I can feel any difference. Because I, don't, I didn't really play much with the Pro Control. Other than... Um, what was the last game I played on it? Mario Odyssey? That's about it. But, um, feels the same for the most part, I guess. And, yep, so it has a sync button and the little charging port there. And, yeah, that's about it. That's all you get in this, um, uh, what is this? A, the Steelbook edition? I don't know what they're calling this edition, but... Yeah, I guess basically the steelbook and the game, and you get the controller complete in box, just stuffed in there, and yeah, that's about it. So, that about wraps it up for this video. Um, next up, I have something coming from Japan, from eBay. Um, it should be arriving, actually, like in three weeks, or maybe a month, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, I look forward to that, and... That wraps up this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys want to see more, please check out my past videos that I've done. If you guys want to see me live playing some video games, I stream live on Twitch. Please follow me there. You'll get notified when I'm going live. And also follow me on Twitter. I post up when I'm going to upload a new video or when I'm going live. And I also post up a lot of other things. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.